good morning students today we shall pass on to the next model cash book that is fourth type of cash book petty cash book what is a petty cash book why is it necessary or else what are the advantages of petty cash book we shall see it today petty means small you could have heard in pondicherry petty seminar petty canal petty canal all these things petty means so small so it is a small cash book for what purpose it is a small cash book this cash book is used this cash book is used for the small expenses what the head cashier will do now the head cashier will give a small amount in terms of cash or in terms of a check kasa ho illa check ho to a person he will give and what that person will do he will maintain or he will see all the small expenses that may happen what are the small expenses i can give you some examples say advertising expenses stationery purchase printing post and telegram all these things are small expenses and these expenses will be met by the small cashier that is why he is called petty cashier and the cash book maintained by the petty cashier is called petty cash book and he give in his experience he give or he expect that is a probable amount that may be used for the month used throughout the month say for example 1000 rupees 2000 rupees 3000 rupees or 5000 rupees it may require and for that purpose that amount will be entrusted or given to a person who is called petty cashier that amount given is called interest amount the system followed there is interest system interest amount interest system adavadhu probable ah or maasla ivvalu silra thalavalla aagunna calculate panni that amount will be given to a particular person who is called a petty cashier he will maintain a book which is called petty cash book the amount the probable amount is called interest amount that system is called interest system idha vandu idha advantage enna appadina the main cashier need not attend the small expenses sometimes he may irritate when he deals with very huge amounts and because of that there may be some mistakes in the account preparation also and therefore to avoid all these unnecessary circumstances the small expenses are met by a separate person called petty cashier these are all the advantages okay we shall go to the format of petty cash book now <coughs> analytical petty cash book the petty cash book model is given and in the book of we should write as usual almost in all chapters we should write in the book of dash we shall write the name and we can write petty cash book or analytical petty cash book
there are very many columns in it the drawing columns only drawing column is very very important in this only the number of columns are very important the first column for the seats the next column for cbf and cash book folio number the next column will be for particulars for particulars then the next column will be for date then after date the total payments these are all the compulsory columns what we must keep ready what are the compulsory columns here on the receipt side that is the receipt cbfn cash book folio number then the next column is date this is the receipt and we can open another column for date here then next column for particulars date then particulars and the next column will be voucher number vn voucher number the next column total payments total payments so 1 2 3 4 5 6 all these six columns are compulsory and the other right hand side columns which are meant for payments depends upon the problem given so we should select the number of columns and write the amount there but the last column ledger folio is compulsory this is other one sundries etc are given but before that <coughs> we shall go to the problem now from the exercise We shall take the first problem, petty cash flow. This is exercise problem sixteen. Problem sixteen. In this problem sixteen, <coughs> received advance from cashier that is two thousand. That's okay. Seven paid for writing pads and register. What are the different columns? Writing pads and register. 
printing and stationery then white papers okay paid auto charges conveyance or traveling expenses traveling right then paid wages salaries and wages salaries and wages yes separate call then purchased stationery okay this printing and stationery t expenses sundries salary salary sundry expenses means small expenses paid for speed post post and telegraph this call then refreshment expenses that is sundry then paid for carriage carriage and package therefore there are six columns how i have selected this payment side depends upon the problem given it varies from one problem to other problem what are the columns required for us we will draw so many columns here what are the number of columns required for us here in this problem we require six columns therefore we should draw six columns here one two three four five then six the last column will be four negative four so we write the heading of the column printing and stationery then next column traveling expenses then next column wages and salaries then next one post and telegram next one that of the other cash books here in cash books you can see for the debit that is the receipt side one particular column and for the payment side another particular column but in petty cash books only one particular column it should be used both for payment and receipts both for payment and receipts therefore what we must do the first one received advance from cashier so we should write the date and write to cash in the particular column to cash to cash what is the date given in this 2017 July first to cash. What is the amount of receipt? It is two thousand rupees. Amount of receipt two thousand rupees. Then the other items are payment items. Other items are payment items. 
So I told you the particular column is the only and the one column here both for receipt and payment. Then how do we know this is a receipt and how do we know this is payment? If you write with to the item, it is a receipt. If you write by with the item, then it will be payment. So you can write all those things now. Paid for writing pads and registers. Then this is on 7. By pads and registers. By pads and registers. This is uh, this is a stationary item. So we should write here that amount, 100 rupees, printing and stationary. When we write this amount, you should write the same amount in the total payment column also. Then, the next one on after 7, 8. Purchase the white papers. 8. By white papers. This is also one of the stationaries. 50 rupees. You write it, write the same 50. Then on 10, pay the auto charges by auto charges. This is coming under traveling expenses. So, how much is paid for auto charges? 200 rupees. So, Auto charges, that is the traveling expenses, 200 rupees, the same amount must be written in total payments also. Then, paid wages, on what date it is 15? By wages, the amount paid is 300. 300. So the total payment will be 300. Then postal charges on 18 by postal charges by postal charges 100 rupees. Post and telegram, postal charges, 100 rupees. The same total must be here. Then, purchase stationery on 21st. By stationery. By stationery, 450 printing and stationery, 450. The same total, 450. Then, T expenses on 23rd. On 23rd, T expenses. by T expenses. This type of refreshment charges and T expenses may be written in Sandrix column. T expenses 60. Sixty. The same amount in the total column. After 23rd, 25th, 25th, by speed forced, this comes under post and telegram, post and telegram, 
the amount is 150. The same amount in total column also. Then 27 by refreshment expenses. By refreshment expenses. 250. It is also under coming under sundries. 250. And the same total here also. Then the last item paid for carriage, 31st. By carriages, the amount will be 150, that is the carriage and the cottage, there is a problem. That is amount of 150. The same amount total here. Now what we have to do? We have to find the total payment here and <coughs> find the balance. We should find the total first then find the balance. Now we can find the, the total of each and every column. 310, 150, this is 250. This is 300, this is 200, this is 500, 600. Now you go to the total payment, 0, three. Thousand eight hundred and ten. Thousand eight hundred and ten. We should write that this is the total expenses. Total expenses you can write in the column. total expenses. What is the total actually? What is the total actually? Total amount paid to the petty cashier is 2000. So, on the last date, the petty cashier should show the balance carried down what is the last date of July, January, February, March, April, June, July? 31 days. Therefore, on 31st, what he should write to balance, carry down, how much it is? So, the total receipt, 2000. Here also it must be 2000 and the balancing figure is 190. So this is balance carried down. So what we must do? We must pass on to the next month that the carry down will be here. This carried down, we can write on the credit side only, therefore we write by, then we close the box,
then what we must do we are bringing that carry down this side as brought down and is on what date next month july then august 1st to balance brought down what is the amount 190 you write here how much less is missing here on august 1st we should write or the petty cash will receive on the same date to cash rupees 1800 and 10 this is the petty cash book once again i repeat there are certain rules what you must follow and i shall explain it once again this what we are doing is a problem number 16 prepare an analytical petty cash book from the following particulars under interest system if any name is given we can write in the book of name this is petty cash book i told you why this petty cash book is used to meet out the small expenses the probable amount of expenditure for a month is given to a small given to a separate person with a small amount and that person is called petty cashier and the small amount given to him to meet out the small expenses are called petty expenses so those entries are made in the petty cash book chinna chinna salavu simple salavu appdi solluvallaya and the salavu and what is the speciality of this this receipts cash book folio number date particulars voucher number total payment 1 2 3 4 5 6 call basis six columns are compulsory what you must to do though we don't write anything in cdf and voucher number this is a formula the first entry what we must write here this what is the amount interest amount received from the head cashier head cashier then the small cashier your amount of money Two thousand rupees, and that two thousand rupees must be returned on the first day to cash this amount. And what is the speciality of this petty cash book? In the other cash book, single column, double column, triple column, we have seen debit side one particular column, and other credit side that is payment side another particular column. In three column cash book, we have seen another. Three column cash book, debit side one particular column, credit side another particular column. But here in the petty cash book, we draw only one column for particulars. Then how to write both receipts and the payments? Receipts payments rendered you know, you have to write them. If you write for the debit side, you use to. If you write on the credit side, that is for payment, you write by. That what we have written continuously. We have written. This is what is followed in the example also. And regarding the petty expenses, regarding the petty expenses, what these sides are payment side, and here how many columns? I said the first six columns. Are necessary, compulsory. I said, and what we must do in it? How we should open the different columns here? How many columns are required? And it all depends upon the problems given in the book. The problems given in the book. And as usual, as we write here, this. left hand side column debt or and the right hand side column credit or this is the format now and here i have drawn 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 there are seven columns on the payment side 
up to this this six columns are compulsory i said the six column put down along some go but here this payment columns depends upon the problem given in the problem le enna na item solla adha mari so many columns we should do open we repair for tabs and register this printing and stationery we used to write and for auto charges we need traveling expenses and for wages we need wages and salaries for and then for postal charges we need post and telegram for carriages for carriages here there is for carriages we need carriage and parking for tea expenses and refreshment charges we use the column salaries and the ledger folio as usual it is compulsory and these columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 of course 3 also we will drop it is only number thing it is from the other five columns depends upon the problem here or or problem to one one they have and now the money that we are going to do we should draw the column for the payment side okay then what is the purpose of this total payment i should be tell you now the purpose of the total payment what is the purpose of the total payment for a cross check this column wise we find the total then we find this row wise total with this column wise total the column total in the row la di potter the total of totals it must be the same if you add 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 numbers you will get this if you add all these numbers column wise you will get the same number if we get the same total for row and this column that what we have total is correct what we have total b is correct okay then in this what we have to do balance you must have to do this and the third after finding the total what we must do the amount received is 2000 the amount received is 2000 and here the balance carried down the balance amount we should write here this is for payment side the payment only it is the balance therefore 190 rupees the balance because the total amount received is 2000 the amount spent is 1810 only and therefore the balance in hand is by balance carried down because this is payment side we are writing it by and understand we put the total on both the sides okay after writing it what we have to do the amount balance in july will be brought to august july la balance selavu pannama meedi amount august kondu 190 rupees but the probable expenditure will be 2000 for august also so how much the petty cashier will receive from the main cashier here there are one month la or 190 rupees that is the balance brought down and the remaining amount 1810 rupees the petty cashier will receive from the main cashier petty cashier main cashier then they na panidu varu idu one to one okay and this is the idea but this problem is not a difficult to problem but the thing is you should draw so many columns very column very number and you should select the columns number of columns from the problem given like this or rough or hint set this how many columns are there you take a hint and as such you can draw the so many columns but here you should draw columns for sundry and ledger for you this side and on the debit side receipts cdf and date particular voucher number total payments these six columns are compulsory and the right hand side credit side these two columns are compulsory the rest of the columns depends upon the problem given kanakla enna putta kaangalo adhu romba maari illa enna seiyanum open